One of our uh, small video conferencing systems. You may know we bought Tanberg in Europe a couple of years ago. That's a Tanberg system that's now called Assisto. And they have people with chemistry degrees, biophysics degree, and electrical engineering. We have even some math majors. So this can do 480 volts AC at like 60 amps or whatever we want to do. The interesting thing is, is it comes out of there with these heavy cables. Wi-Fi or 3G or 4G cellular. So I'll let you all look in here and then sort of file by and then come back out because there's not a lot of room in here. is measuring how loud it is. There are regulations on how loud the fan noise can be on products. And Cisco is a big violator of those regulations in the past. If you ever listen to one of our really big switches, like a 10,000, a 12,000, or CRS-1, they're really noisy. And the problem is, is if the phone company is buying, you know, hundreds of these, So this is a 10 meter chamber because from the center of the turntable, as far back as you can go with the antenna tower, it's 10 meters. Uh, normally we would have a receiving antenna here, we put the product on the antenna. Uh, this table is electric. The hydraulics can do great force but they can't go to high frequencies. So the upper frequency range of that table is about 300 hertz. This electric table can go as high as about 14 kilohertz, 14,000 hertz. And we use it for different testing. For example, we have routers that you can put uh, in space. In the name of science. smart meters in people's home. The smart meter talks wirelessly to your washer and your dryer. So, uh, let's see, we have one visible. We don't have, oh yeah, here, this is a typical lightning generator. You plug different modules in, and you can get a, a major circuit. Uh, typically, it's not very exciting to watch. Uh, usually, it's a cable that comes directly out of that and goes into the 